I'm Mr. Good Pliers, and this is Resting Relics, Part 2, Cairo, Kansas. First resting relic we have is this Case Comfort King tractor. You can tell this one is a diesel, and it's had a loader with a hay bale grapple mounted to it here. Next we have a approximately 1951-1952 Dodge Wayfarer. And you can see this one has just taken quite a wallop in the front. Old vintage wreck and my goodness is it just pounded. One side in a little better shape, but been resting as a relic for quite a while and kind of on the rough side. Closer shot. Boy, that car took a hit, but that frame sure didn't move much. Let's zoom in, catch the side here so you can see that. Got all origamied. Pretty amazing, as hard as that car was hit, there was no intrusion into the passenger compartment. So, folks that say the old cars weren't safe, I look at this one and I might have to disagree a bit. Although, had it been hit on the other side, that steering column possibly could have impaled the driver, so that might have been a different story altogether. Next, this is going to be approximately, by what's left of it, 71, 72, maybe a 73 Plymouth satellite. Custom. Very interesting off shade of lime green on that one. Stripped all the way bare. That old Plymouth is pretty rough customer. So those are all other non-vehicular items. Move up here and catch a little different resting relic. This is a 1939 to 1947 Dodge truck. What a great face on that one. Yeah. Boy, what a neat looking old truck that was. Take a look inside. Very, very basic appointments on the interior of that one. Very basic. Our next resting relic is going to be a Marlette 
mobile home. Great vintage patina on that one. Early one with steel siding rather than aluminum. Quite unique vintage styling of that. 1950s, 1960s era. We have got resting relics of computers inside of there. Just an old, worn out, broken down relic. On the rough side for sure. I'm going to catch one more vehicle on this shot. Oh, here we have, you can hear the guys working in the background. The scrap guys got their, got their machines crunching up some scrap. This is a vintage. Frigidaire refrigerator. Nice looking crown emblem on there. Frigidaires were a product of General Motors. Zoom in on there so you guys, gals can see that. Genuine Frigidaire only by General Motors. There is a seed drill. Here are metal guys working some more there. This is a Plymouth Velari or a Dodge Aspen with the T-tops. Somebody's stripped this one out as a project and not quite finished. Up the way. This is a Chrysler. It appear about a 73 Newport, I'm guessing. This one has had an interior fire. Burned that one all the way out. <clears throat> Just another resting relic. Over here. This is a Plymouth. Two-door hardtop, which was a competitor to 51 Ford Victoria. And a Chevrolet. Two door hard top. This one's going to be 51, 52 approximately. We have another half ton Dodge, 81, 82, 83 ish. Somewhere in those years. And another, this is a 60, 4, 5, 6. 67 somewhere in there Dodge parts truck but it is a three-quarter ton there's a 
rear end someone might find desirable. I'm Mr. Good Pliers, and this is Resting Relics, Part 2.